So, you have a new Fast and Furious movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. And since we called the fourth movie Fast and Furious, you know, I think it's pretty obvious what we should call this one. I, d I have no idea. Uh, Furious 5? What? Furious 5? Why would we call it Furious 5? I, I don't know, this is stupid. Why would we? It that doesn't even mention how fast things are gonna be. I'm sorry, it was dumb. So what's the title? Fast 5. Oh, oh, okay, so, th so they're not furious anymore? No, they are gonna be furious, but we're not gonna spoil that in the title. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, I think I'm just confused. Anyway, so at the beginning of this movie, Dominic Toretto is being transported on a prison bus, right? Oh yeah, he murdered someone or something. Oh yeah, he did a bunch of stuff. He crushed a guy with a car in the last movie. Anyway, his friends come to break him free. How did they manage that? By making the prison bus crash and flip like 20 times. Oh my god, wouldn't that kill him and a bunch of people on the bus? You'd think so, but actually no. Oh, I am completely satisfied with that explanation. Great. So anyway, later the team is all split up and on the run, and Brian and Mia, they head to Rio. What are they get up to down there. Well, they meet up with Vince, remember, from the first movie? He's from the first movie. He is, yeah, and so he lives down in Rio with his wife and his baby. Okay. And Mia holds the baby, but then she has to run to the bathroom to puke. Uh, yeah, well, babies are pretty gross. Yeah, that's probably part of it. But also, she's pregnant. Oh, she is? She's with child and stuff. So anyway, Vince then invites them on a job so they can get some money, because they don't have any money. And what's the job? They need to steal some cars off a moving train, and these things were seized by the DEA. Oh boy. Yeah, and then and Dominic Toretto shows up too. He's there now. How did he hear about the job? Unclear. But then the bad guys, they really want this one specific car from the train, so the good guys, they get suspicious and they don't let them take it. What do they care if the bad guys that hired them want a specific car? I don't know, but they freaking do care, so the movie can happen. And so what do the bad guys want with this car? Well, later we're gonna find out that the car's radio has a computer chip in it. Okay. And this thing has the delivery schedule of a bad guy named Reyes, and this guy, he runs Rio. So how come this Reyes guy didn't and hire somebody to just steal a car radio instead of several cars and messing up an entire train. Uh, yeah, that would make a lot more sense for sure, but then where do the explosions come from? Well, there wouldn't be any explosions. So why would we put that in the movie? Oh, right, okay, I see what you're saying. So anyway, Dom has to fight some guys, and he throws one of them off the train, and he hits a bridge at a super high speed. Oh, heck yeah, kill that guy, Dominic Toretto, take his life. Yeah. Darkness forever for that guy. His family's gonna have to mourn him. I guess, I guess they will, yeah. Would you say that the guy that Dom kills was close with his family? You know, I actually I didn't give that much thought. Maybe maybe he was. Did this guy have any kids? I don't I don't know. So in a situation like this, who notifies the kids that Dominic Toretto threw their dad off a train? Uh, Does the criminal organization help with funeral costs, or is that just on the family? Okay, you're really reading into this guy's death a lot, sir. It's just a very fun, quick, simple killing, and then we move on. Oh, okay. Y you know, there are gonna be a lot of these in the movie. We can't stop and do a deep dive on every person Dom kills, you know? It's just, it's fun, and they're dead, and we move on, and it was a great time. That's fair. Anyway, then the bad bad guys kill a couple of DEA agents and the good guys get blamed for it and then Brian and Dom have to jump off a massive cliff like from a height that would kill literally anyone. Oh my god, are they okay? What do you think? I feel like they're probably okay. They are okay, yeah. Wow, 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 wow. So anyway, that bad guy Reyes, he captures them and he ties them up with chains and handcuffs. Oh boy, it's gonna be tough to get out of that situation. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh really? Yes, he Reyes takes off and he just leaves two incompetent henchmen to kill them. Them, so they just break out of their chains and take them down easily. Oh man, bad guys hate sticking around to see if the people they want dead are actually dead. They certainly do. So anyway, Dom and Brian, they decide they want to steal a hundred million dollars from this guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, that's gonna be the plot of the movie, I decided. It's gonna be like Ocean's Eleven, but if everybody was less charming and George Clooney fell in a vat of testosterone. I like the sound of that. But there's a badass American agent named Luke Hobbs, and he's east tracking their every movement. He's relentless. Oh, and what's his deal? Oh, he's a real tough guy. He's bossing around the Brazilian police and stuff. Why would he be allowed to do that? Oh, well, he's got some muscles, and they're very big ones. Oh, okay, I didn't realize. And he hires this local cop, Elena, because her husband was murdered, so he figures she can't be corrupt. I guess that makes sense. So anyway, because this is Creatine Ocean's Eleven, they need to assemble a crew. Oh, so who's on the crew? Oh, we've got people from the other movies, sir. We're talking Roman, Tej, Giselle, Han. Wouldn't this Hobbs guy be keeping tabs on former associates suddenly entering the country? Apparently not. Well, okay then. So Reyes is keeping all his money in a 10-ton safe inside a crooked police station. Oh man, so what does the crew do? Well, they're gonna get an identical safe so they could practice opening it up. How do they manage that without raising any flags? Well, one of them says something about having another life before meeting everyone, so... Oh, a very vague explanation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how do they intend to break into this thing? Well, it turns out that Tej is an expert on safes. He knows everything about them. What? Since when? Well, he's like, I had a life before I met you guys, you know? Well, 
Well, we'll thank God all these people have mysterious pasts that directly involve hyper-specific heist-related skill sets. Yeah, and so they realize that the police have these super-fast cameras, and they're gonna have to drive really fast to avoid being seen by them. Okay. So they need to get their hands on a super-fast car, so they go to an illegal underground street race. Wouldn't the crime guy that runs Rio have a bunch of people there? Apparently not, no. Very weird. Well, at least we're gonna have a cool underground race scene, you know, get back to our roots. Oh, no, we're not gonna show the race. Oh, we're not. No, we're just gonna cut to after the race. I mean, we gotta keep things moving here. There's no time to waste. Okay. So then they're gonna spend like 30 minutes of screen time driving around in a circle, you know, doing tests, try to outrun the camera. Uh, well, yeah, if they're gonna have to do that in the movie's climax, I guess they're gonna have to practice. Well, actually, no, they're not. Oh, they're not. Yeah, because at a certain point, they're like, hey, maybe we should steal some cop cars, you know, that won't raise any red flags on the security cameras. So that like 30 minutes of screen time where they're doing tests, that was just completely unnecessary. Seems like maybe we could have showed that underground street race. Well, they're gonna race each other in the cop cars just for fun. What with the American agents and Brazilian police and a bunch of criminals looking for them? Yeah, they feel like having some fun, so they you know, risk everything. Very fun. So then later they're about to go on the heist, but then Hobbs and his guys show up and they stop them. So both the testing and the cop cars led to nothing. Pretty much, sir. I'm just kind of filling time with vague car things. Oh, vague car things are tight. So then they're gonna get ambushed by the criminals and Hobbs' men are gonna die and Vince is gonna get killed. Oh no, he was from the first movie. And since Dom saves Hobbs' life, him and Elena, they decide to join the crew and, you know, kill a bunch of Brazilian cops. Oh my God. Yeah, so they just rip the 10 ton safe right out of the police station. And then they drive it around and whip it around like it's a freaking mace and crush a bunch of cops and properties and stuff. So does this count as terrorism or is that, that, that something different? I don't know, but anyway, they managed to kill the bad guy in the end. Wow, 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 wow. And Hobbs is like, alright, I'm gonna give you guys a 24-hour head start, but then I'm coming after you, and also I'm keeping the safe. Okay. But then it turns out they actually swap the safe in the middle of the heist, so they get to keep all the money. When did they coordinate that? Wasn't Hobbs with them as they planned this new version of the heist? Yeah, unclear, but they managed to pull it off and everybody's happy and everything went great. Their friend Vince died, he had a baby at home. Just a happy ending all around. Tej opens up a garage, so that's fun for him. He starts a business? That's gonna be very easy for Hobbs to track. Everything just worked out for the good guys, so what do you think? Well, it sounds insane, but maybe that's the direction we need to take this franchise moving forward. I certainly think so, yeah. Any ideas of who to cast as this new Hobbs guy? Well, he has to be big enough to be threatening to Dom, right? So I figure somebody that looks like, you know, with Vin Diesel ate one of the mushrooms from Super Mario. I know just who to get. Hey guys, it's Ryan here. Hope you enjoyed that pitch meeting. We have a ton of these on the channel that you can check out. You could also leave me a comment down below letting me know what other movies you'd like to see pitches for. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share on Facebook and Twitter, spread it around. And as always, check back soon for a new pitch. Bye-bye.